Welcome to CoinChimp. The crypto space is full of big names. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, XRP. But where does Caspa fit in? Is it just another coin? Or does it actually solve problems better than the rest? Today, we'll break it down using real-world examples to compare Caspa to the most well-known blockchains. No prior crypto knowledge needed. Let's dive in. Let's start with the basics. Speed, cost, decentralization, and security. Bitcoin. The most secure, but slow. Processing one block every 10 minutes. Transactions can take hours when the network is busy. Ethereum. Faster, but expensive. Gas fees fluctuate between a few dollars to over $100, making small transactions impractical. Solana. Extremely fast, but sacrifices decentralization. It relies on fewer validators which has led to network outages multiple times. XRP, Ripple. Built for banks, not individuals. Transactions are fast, but the supply is controlled by a company, meaning it's not truly decentralized. Cardano, ADA. Aims for security and scalability, but has slow development and limited adoption for real-world use cases. Caspa combines the best of these while avoiding their weaknesses. It uses block DAG technology meaning transactions don't queue up like they do on Bitcoin or Ethereum. Instead, multiple blocks process at the same time, allowing faster and more efficient transactions. Speed and cost matter, but what does that mean for real-world use? Let's compare. Let's start with everyday payments, Bitcoin. Too slow for small payments. No one wants to wait 30 minutes for coffee. Ethereum. Small purchases aren't practical due to high fees. Solana and XRP. Fast, but Solana has had reliability issues, and XRP is optimized for banks, not individuals. Caspa works like digital cash, instant transactions, no need to wait or pay high fees. Example, you buy a snack. With Bitcoin, you wait. With Ethereum, you pay more in fees than the snack itself. With Caspa, it's instant and nearly free. Micropayments and streaming money, Bitcoin and Ethereum, Fees make small rapid payments, unfeasible. Cardano, no ecosystem for micropayments. Caspa, with sub-second transactions, you could get paid per second for watching videos or playing games. Example, a gamer wins a level and receives Caspa instantly instead of waiting for withdrawals. Global transfers and decentralization, XRP and Solana, fast but centralized. Transactions can be frozen by companies controlling the supply. Bitcoin, secure, but slow. Ethereum and Cardano, secure, but transaction costs can spike. Caspa, fully decentralized, fast, and low cost. No central entity can freeze transactions. Example, you send $10 overseas. XRP, fast, but centralized. Bitcoin, secure, but slow. Ethereum, costs $10 in fees to send $10. Caspa, fast, cheap, and fully decentralized. Security matters, but not all blockchains are built the same. Bitcoin, the gold standard for security, but limited in speed and scalability. Ethereum, secure but vulnerable to high fees and congestion. Solana and XRP, faster but less decentralized, meaning there's a higher risk of control by a few entities. Caspa is different. It's truly decentralized, like Bitcoin, but much faster. Instead of waiting for one block at a time, multiple blocks, confirm transactions simultaneously through BlockDAG, reducing delays while maintaining strong proof-of-work security. In 2025, Caspa will also introduce ZK Rollups, an advanced privacy feature similar to Ethereum's, allowing users to make transactions without exposing personal details. This makes it a viable option for both public and private financial use cases. Caspa isn't just another crypto. It's solving real problems that Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and XRP struggle with. Fast transactions without compromising decentralization, low fees for daily payments and micropayments, secure and scalable without relying on central entities, future ready with ZK rollups and smart contracts arriving this or next year. The crypto space is evolving. Caspa might just be the next major breakthrough. What do you think? Drop your thoughts below. See you next time. I hope you found this content valuable. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials and insights like this. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the latest developments in this technology and beyond. Let's keep exploring and learning together. Until the next time, cheers.